Hi, it's Gordon, Fat Old Climber, and today we're going to look at the five most common mistakes we... <laughs> Hi, it's Gordon, Fat Old Climber, and today we're going to look at the top five mistakes we see new climbers making and what to do about them. And a little bonus one at the end, so stick around. Let's do this. Are you done? In our meetup group, we regularly have people who are totally new to climbing, and we consistently see certain things that new people do. Um, in fact, I still know some people who have been climbing for a while that still do them. And in this video, we're going to go through what I consider to be the top five. Uh, we'll talk through what the problem is, why it's an issue, and the simple things you can do to change it. And there's a little bonus tip at the end. If you like this kind of content, if you're interested in more of this content, then consider subscribing to the channel. And if you find this video interesting or useful, then drop us a like. Let me know in the comments some of the issues you had as a beginner, or if there's any I've missed that you think we should talk about. So the first two mistakes we see are connected. And the first one is over gripping. So what happens is, if you look at this hold, people tend to engage all their fingers and their thumb, and they're, they're putting all their focus on gripping everything. So that they're using a lot more energy than they need to. And what that's going to cause is that they'll tire, their forearms will tire a lot quicker. So what you want to do instead is you want to try and imagine your fingers are as hooks. So you, for, you just hang your fingers over and that way when you're you're pulling you're actually just relying on your arm and your your, your muscles and your forearms rather than gripping and if you do that what will happen is in the early stages of you learning to climb you'll be able to climb for a lot longer connected that to that is the tendency people have to climb using their their biceps so they'll get on the wall and they'll sit like this and they'll climb and they'll pull themselves in, relying on their arms all the time. And what happens is if you're pulling on your weight, your, your, your biceps, which may be strong, your biceps are nowhere near as strong as the muscles, the, the, the skeleton in your, your arm and your back muscles. So the problem it will cause is, again, what causes two things. One is you'll, you'll have a lot less vertical movement in your climbs, but also your arms will tire a lot quicker. So if you're doing that and over gripping, your arms will be exhausted a lot quicker. So what you want to try and do is develop a habit of climbing with straight arms and hanging in your arms so that what you're actually doing is moving up using your back and the bones of your forearm, the bones of your arm. And when you move, you're moving your back muscles. And not only will that be a far more powerful way to climb, you'll be able to climb for a lot longer in each session. What's going on here? Well, this is for an up and coming video. Subscribe if you want to find out. I'm sorry, I messed up the recording for this one. Uh, the next thing we see frequently is people thinking climbing is all about arms and pulling up. And you can see Mark here focused entirely on grabbing a hold and pulling himself up with his arms and his legs are an afterthought. Whereas if you watch what he's doing here, he's first looking where he's putting his feet and then he's placing his legs and standing up, moving his arms standing up, moving his arms. So far better to be using your legs to stand up rather than your arms to pull yourself up. Another problem we find is when people put the wrong foot up before they climb. Right, go. So it's a snatchy 
uncontrolled move. Whereas if she uses the same, if she uses the same foot, same hand, maybe her right hand was up and puts her left foot up, she can go up a lot more controlled. Another problem we find quite often is people not looking at the roots before they get on it. So they identify the start holds, get on, and then try and figure out where to go from next. And that can cause a disastrous climb sometimes. So Megan's going to climb this orange. So what we're looking at is her focus, which is getting on. And then what she's going to do is trying to figure out where to go next. And you can see she's re just realized that next is way over here. And she realizes there's no way she's going to do it. Climb. We can see the start is here. But when you pan out, you can see there's nothing up. So, so Megan has to realize that the next hold is over here. And then the next hold is over here, which means what she has to do is figure out how she's going to get her weight around the corner and up. Okay, on you go. So she knows there's a move over. And then she can use the volume to bring her weight up. Perfect. No, I can't finish it if you like. And she knew there was some walking up the wall. Very nice. First bump at the end. As a bonus, um, footwork in general is a problem and not focusing enough on your footwork is a big problem we find in beginners. Um, it's a big enough subject that it will be a video on its own, but one piece of advice we would give is being careful about where you put, being careful about where you put your feet. Because what you find is people just slap their foot on the hold, putting as much on it as they can, and then move up. And one of the problems that causes, other than it not being very stable, is if they want to rotate their foot, you just slip off. A far better thing to do is focus on standing, putting your toe on the hold. And then what happens when your toe's on the hold, you have a lot more flexibility of what you can do with your foot. This part of your foot, this part of your shoe, is the part is that's, that's designed to put the most pressure through. So that's it. Five of the most common mistakes we see beginners making, plus a bonus one on footwork. If you found this information useful or interesting, then and you're not already subscribed, then consider subscribing. Uh, if you liked it, then drop us a like. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>